Welcome to Fire Mountain, an explosive story. Volcanoes are made by fire rocks. When they are cool and are quiet, ice and snow form on top. Our story is about this fire mountain. It has been quiet for over a hundred years. In March 1980, hot liquid rocks called magma churns the mountain back to life. The magma pushes. Pressure build within the giant pimple-like mountain. Let's look at Mount St. Helens in seven steps. One, born. Over tens of thousands of years, hot rocks push up from under the Earth's crust. Mountains are made. Over time, they rise, go quiet for a long time, but one day, explode. Pressure pushes more magma to make more mountains. This is on top of the older, broken ones. The cycle of build and blow up mountains repeats. About 400 years ago, the current cone-shaped mount towers above the valley below. The mountain is not one solid shape. It is made from stacked loose layers of rocks, ash, and dirt, all topped with glaciers of ice and snow. Two, shake. For over 100 years, this mountain is quietly asleep. Earthquakes in March 1980 wake up the volcano. Very hot magma pushes up through cracks inside the mountain. The pressure builds. A mile-wide bulge builds on the north face. It grows 5 feet taller daily. An emergency is declared. People are evacuated away from the fire mount. 3. Slide Land On May 18, 1980, there is a large earthquake under the mountain. This causes huge layers of rocks to slide down the north face. The landslide avalanche travels at over 150 miles per hour. The valley below is covered with rock and mud up to 200 feet thick. Spirit Lake is pushed up opposite hills. It flows back down on top of the landslide. Lake life is killed. A layer of pumice rocks and dead trees float on the lake. The missing mount pieces are like taking the lid off a bottle of a shaken soda pop. 4. Blast away. In an instant, hot gases blast over and away from Fire Mountain. Clouds of boiling gas and rock blast over the land near the mount at 300 miles per hour. Trees are shattered. People, animals, and plants are killed. In minutes, over 230 square miles of forests are destroyed. Rocks the sizes of houses are thrown from the mount and across the valley. The ground surface is barren but littered with fallen trees and pumice rocks. Next, heat from inside the mount affects the snow on top. Flow Mud Rivers Lots of heat is released from inside the volcano. This causes the snow and ice on top to melt. This mud, rock, and debris torrent quickly flows down the mount. The runaway wall of mud crashes over top the river valley below. The strong muddy waves with floating down trees and debris smash apart houses and break up bridges. Back at the mount, pressure and gases increase. 6. Blow up ash Suddenly, the volcano center explodes. Clouds of ash and steam are blown 12 miles high into the sky. Wind blows the ash clouds east. In nearby cities, it is daylight noon, but the ash turns the sky midnight dark. Ash rains down on the cities in four states. Homes and streets are covered in cement-like ash. People wear masks not to breathe the fine dust from the exploding fire mountain many miles away. Within a month, some of the fine ash dust circles the earth. Look at what is left at the mount. Can you imagine how much force it takes to blow a cubic mile off of Mount St. Helens? Hundreds of people near the cratered mount are rescued. Sadly, 60 people
people and millions of animals died in mountain explosion events. Forests and animals are gone. The earth landscape around the mount looks more like the moon. In the past, bigger volcanoes have erupted too, like these. Other volcano mountains are quiet now, but one day may erupt again. 7. Reborn In the 1980s, Fire Mount blew its top again. Since then, there have been more but smaller eruptions too. Today, Mount St. Helens goes on growing. In the crater, the mount pushes up skyward again. This solid chunk is the size of a skyscraper. The build and burst life cycle of a volcano mountain continues. To close, Earth's surface is a thin skin crust. Melted rocks pushes through the crust to make volcano mountains. Mount St. Helens is one example. Earthquakes wake it up. More shakes cause the north face to slide off. A sideways blast kills most life near the fire mount. Massive mud flows. And airborne ash blows too. When these events are over, much of the mountain is missing. The amount of nature's power is awesomely amazing. Volcanoes show us how we live on thin earth layers that change in big ways over time. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 3 million free Alfred ebooks have been downloaded 